Uh, hi guys, we are live right now. Um, so because I want to try out something new, um, I actually got this um, my phone, which is the my phone my eighty five ATV, and well, I'm doing a review right now, so I can show you. So I don't need to unbox it since there's been hundreds of unboxing videos already out there but of course for me as a te uh, as a blogger lifestyle blogger i like to take my own my own uh, experience with this uh, my phone i actually had my phone before which is the rio the first rio and this is would this would be something like my, my third my phone that i actually purchased um i haven't yet a, re a review yet so only my phone if you have any phones that you want to review i would let the review it so moving on so let's move now to the uh, my phone my dtv so for the first time when i saw this one um i was curious because it says um dtv so technically i was expecting that there was something like a tv and well the the, the sales guy actually said yes but uh he did not say if it's digital or not. Well, I did. Uh, I bought it because I really needed a phone. So, so here it is. It is the my phone M eighty five DTV. So, it's five inches. So let me just go to the quick specs here. So it's a five inches HD IPS display. Um, it has a 13 megapixel AF main camera over here and a front 5MP uh, camera and according to this one is working with a 1.3 gigahertz quad core so quad core is not um, it's still okay uh, as of now of course um, usually the course does not matter because of because usually people would really uh, would go with quality over quantity okay so uh, of course it comes with the charger um, the plug uh, the wall sock uh, the wall plug and um, yeah the earphones that that comes with the kit and from what I see it has a different color in the box but what I got is just this black one with the the philippine map design which is something like my uh what my phone would usually do for their products for their new products and for, for all of their products right now so they it can be really really distinguished and of course my phone would always say that they are proudly pinoy so that's why they would label all their phones with the philippine map okay so let's move on um, I already made some apps available on the phone so I installed of course Facebook uh, my pastimes Candy Crush uh, I think I'm the only one who's still playing Candy Crush right now but um, what uh, uh, what is interesting with this one is of course the digital TV um, so far there has been already a phone who has digital TV which is Star Mobile but um, this is probably the second phone local phone who has this the digital TV um, format uh, one thing that's also inc uh, interestingly included in the kit is this pen which no it's not a stylus pen it's actually an antenna hmm. it's, it's an antenna for your digital TV so uh well of course let's just go to this sim uh to the interface of the phone you have of course uh, the the usual uh interface it's already marshmallow let's just go to the settings here okay about the phone android it's marshmallow okay um one thing i also noticed with the camera although it's 13 megapixel mm, i have to say that okay 
so going back to the camera uh, I said it's pretty much the same mm, or kind of average with the cameras out there um, I think that's not really the highlight of this one uh, however it's uh, the, 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 the 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 most interesting part of this one again is this um, digital TV so I have this so called stylus just have to remove this one and place it at the the phone jack I mean the, the earphone jack and voila you have your antenna for your digital TV which you need to pull it out so technically it's like an analog TV but definitely it really really works with um, uh, with uh, boosting the signal of your uh, digital TV so we have here the app for the my digital TV okay so I'm opening it up there you go so I already um, uh, scanned the channels and let's see if we could get one here let's just try GMA <laughs> because as of now there's just a, uh, a limited number of channels who are on the digital format we all know that so with well however since everybody's going digital definitely every analog tv should switch to the digital format really really soon since it will definitely phase out in a few years so i think i'm not getting a signal here let me see okay how would we go with abs cbn <laughs> we have no signal inside the house right for gma and tb5 uh i tried it um, yesterday uh, it was really really clear it's really really clear however the, the, the problem now with this one since you have your jack connected to the antenna so you cannot use your earphones uh, let me just get so this is these are the earphones I'm sorry <laughs> it's kind of messy so the earphones that come with the phone uh, of course you cannot use that because you only have one jack and okay oops i'm sorry we can probably restart that i think i haven't um really pushed the, the antenna okay here we go here we go so we have oh it's tb5 <laughs> So we have TB5. So it, I think I just uh, I didn't push the antenna far enough. Let's try GMA. Okay. So one thing that of course people are really really into entertainment and having a TV on the go will really really be very entertaining for us, since um, of course with the slow internet that we have right now. Oops. That's well it's showing a toilet commercial but it's too bright for the screen but that's okay so you would see that it has this um yeah yeah the, the digital tv very very much better than having the analog tv with all the noise and everything in it um it's really really cool since well, like i mentioned since um entertainment it would be good for entertainment on the go since people don't have um, fast internet always and that's a fact so having a TV on your side is really really cool um, the only problem of this is because of course it eats up a lot of battery so definitely you should have your power bank ready so uh, actually <laughs> I have it plugged in right now just, just to make sure that <laughs> it won't die out um, but of course battery life we have to check that one uh, I'll I'll, I'll be posting my own review on how far or how well this battery work so you have this cute cute little um, antenna you just put it over here so it won't it won't be um, an eyesore 
holding out the whole antenna. But of course, that depends if you really, really need reception. Um, again, going back to this one, you could actually do screenshots. You can actually, yeah. So going back, so you could actually do screenshots. You can actually do recording. So, <laughs> so if you probably want to record your favorite shows on the go, you have your my phone ma my 85 dt for that of course you have to make sure that there's there is a good good signal for the digital transmission and fortunately since not all um channels are digital ready so if in case your favorite channel is not yet digitized so it's really really unfortunate but definitely we'll look forward to more uh, digital uh, TVs in the future so okay so that concludes our um, digital TV experience let's now move on with okay I just uh, pulled out the antenna so I'm just gonna put it back so um, impressions in terms of how thin it is it's average it's curvy um, at the back smooth smooth finish of course <laughs> you can definitely say it's from the Philippines so yeah my phone um, I, I'm, I'm not sure how many colors are in, uh, available for this one but definitely um, we'll look forward um, according to this one the battery of this one is uh, 2500 milliamp beers but we all know that's not always enough for one day I can surely say that even probably you yourself a smartphone user I would say 2.5 is never never enough for one day especially if you are on the go have a lot of pictures uh, living an active lifestyle living an active internet um, camera smartphone lifestyle right now so um can we say more about this one so so uh how do i gauge this one of course um this is actually affordable um from i bought this one for only three thousand pesos three thousand pesos so that's actually really good um plus you have a tv you have your marshmallow phone android phone um it's a dual sim uh, it has expandable memory, it has um, 8 gig of internal memory, you have the camera, you have everything you need usually for your digital lifestyle. So definitely it's really really a, a very good um, buy for those who uh, need a smartphone on the budget and this one says uh, this would now be a uh, phone that I'll be okay so we're really done with this one so i hope you enjoyed this really really um live um presentation of the my phone my 85d tv so again if you have questions just uh just feel free to uh comment away and also follow me on my social media accounts that's at fpj junior you can see the, the review of this phone on my blog site which is uh, xt that's x t s x s t i g as <laughs> it's like a stick and you replace a with the x um dot blogspot.com and of course you will also see other tech news from there but definitely since i am the blogger for that one you should follow my social media sites and of course um with that uh, well, well that's that concludes my short review of this uh, phone and see you all ne uh, the next time for more phone reviews and if my phone <laughs> if man if my phone would actually provide us with more phones or actually more information about their phones that would be great and see you all in the next review so bye bye